Coach, uh, good afternoon. Um, there's a little bit more of an encouragement defensive-wise at Monterey Bay this time around. Uh, you guys were able to keep the clean sheet in the back. Uh, what did you see from your team defensively that kind of allowed you to kind of hold them on their offensive front, hoping that you kind of see a little bit of the same results this week against New Mexico United? Yes, as I told you, we, we needed to change. Uh, we changed things uh, in all aspects, the way the team behaved on the field, the way the, the tactical aspect we changed. And it worked well. It worked well because we play against the most dangerous team in USL right now, the most the team that scored more, more goals than any other one. Which is Monterrey Bay, and we we could contain them very well. We we were able to have more possession in the, in their half, in their defensive half, which is for us it is important. Now we need to continue moving forward in order for us to be more dangerous, to take more risks, to strike the ball on goal, and to make sure that we need to score. We need to score. So. We we had good things. Now we have to continue moving forward. We have to continue growing. And that's the idea. And you talk about the idea of your team uh, continuing to be aggressive. Uh, Gringo had himself a, a wonderful game uh, with his uh, display on, in the last game. Uh, is that just something uh, encouraging uh, for you as a coach to kind of see your veteran players uh, step up in a time where it's – uh, more needed. Uh, Ricky Ruiz also had him, himself a uh, quite an encouraging game, despite not getting the result on the road. Yes, definitely. Because after the the way we perform against uh, um, Memphis, uh, that it didn't work well for us in any aspect. Uh, uh, we have to change everything, and uh, but then the mentality was positive, and the attitude was very good. And on the field, um, uh, Monterrey Bay didn't expect us as aggressive, as good as uh, the, the pressure that we put on them. We pressured them high. We took the ball away from them. And then we have the possibilities to play. Obviously, uh, we need to be more consistent to try to make it happen throughout the whole game. And that's what we need to work. We need to work on that. and. And um, obviously, if we score, uh, everything is going to be moving in the in the better direction for us. So we need to continue. Again, we have to continue growing. But the 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 first step it worked well for us, which is uh, the way we perform in, in Monterrey Bay. That was uh, a more positive performance. And the last one, uh, you brought in uh, Frank Lopez uh, for the last 20 minutes of the match. Just how encouraging is it to see him continue, uh, get his game rhythm back in, and as you see him continuously training with the squad, just uh, how do you feel? Is he uh, rhythm-wise to kind of continue uh, helping this team as it uh, tries to get out of this uh, little run that they're in right now? Yes, yes, we're happy that you know, he's getting more minutes. He's feeling more comfortable. He's feeling, you know, and he needs to be, he needs to be ready. And we need, we need him because, as, as you saw, he, well, he went in twenty minutes and he has the best chance for us. So that should be a goal, but uh, he couldn't connect uh, properly the way he normally does. But uh, we don't want to push him too much because we need him to be for the rest of the season hopefully thank you good evening um, coach cabrera and, and welcome from germany of course i have a few questions like ray of course um my first question is about monterey and i want to, to talk about a different aspect because on the one hand we had our defense stability and a really good first half when we dominated the game and uh, Monterey. But on the other side, we only had just one shot on target. And looking on the last three games, we had two shots at all in the last uh, 270 minutes. So I wanted to ask you about your um, 
thought about that and maybe your opinion about um, Cristiano Francois, who played as a lone striker most of the time and looked good um, when he did on the left side. Yes, we worry about that. What can I say? We're trying. Uh, as I said, we were focused on make sure that defensively we were solid. And now that we we got that, we need to make sure that we need to be a little bit more aggressive finding the goal. Uh, especially because in the first half against Monterrey, we were very close. We were, you know, we were winning the ball. We were dominating them, but we have to be more aggressive and we have to have better mentality trying to find the ball. And uh, that's something that uh, we have to continue working. We have to continue pushing. Uh, it's uh, every day we tell them, every day we push. And uh, we're trying to make sure that they understand that because if not, it's impossible. Uh, you know, if, if we only have one shot on goal, it's difficult to win games like that. My uh, second question is about New Mexico, because we will play them, I believe, tomorrow, on my time, of course. Um, my question is, New Mexico seems to struggle lately, um, again, combined to the last season, although they beat Orange County last week. Where do you see maybe their strength looking at our weaknesses so far, and um, which is the key of the game um, against New Mexico? We, we respect a lot New Mexico, but we have to be more, in my opinion, by now, we need to be a little bit more focused on ourselves. Uh, obviously, they have a very good players, they have very talented players, and they won very comfortable the last game at home. They needed that, so that is important for their confidence. But now, uh, What I'm trying to be sure is that we need to be more focused on ourselves in order for us to solve, solve our own problems. Right now, our own problems is we needed to be solid defensively. We needed to have more possession and we needed to administrate the ball much better. But also we have to look forward to try to score goals because otherwise it's going to be difficult for us to win. And the only thing that changes every game or any game It's if you score goals. We we could have played really well against Monterey Bay, but if they score one goal, uh, all the job that we did, it goes to the garbage. So we need to make sure that we have to continue and we have to find a way to 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 score goals. So uh, that's something that we're working on it and we need to we need to make sure that we improve in that aspect. I have a small question to end my uh, question, if I'm allowed. Um, is it time? Yes. Okay. Uh, my last question is about uh, Thomas Ritondale, because I'd like to talk with him, but he doesn't speak English, so I have to ask you about him. Um, Mr. Ritondale played in the beginning of the season many minutes, and then was a late substitute in some games. At the last game, uh, he played uh, many minutes, and I want to ask you about his current maybe standing in the team, and where do you see uh, he has to improve, maybe if uh, looking at New Mexico, of course, because uh, he could be a good uh, player against them. Yes, definitely. Uh, Tomas is a very talented player. That's why we here. The only thing is he's very young. He doesn't have experience. And he, we're trying to make sure that he can, he needs to finish the 90 minutes. But when he starts getting cramps, it's, uh, we cannot continue playing with him. This is a defender, a defender who has cramps. Uh, it needs to be solved. So that's something that is paying attention. He's young. He's learning to have more hydration, better food, better rest, all the things that, you know, he's learning because he has only a few professional players in his belt. So this is for him. It, everything is new for him. So it's, it's learning, but he has talent. And because of his talent, we're trying to make sure that 
he gets the confidence and he continues learning throughout the season in order for him to make sure that he gets uh, stronger uh, physically and uh, he, because his talent is very promising for, for, for himself and obviously for the team. Thanks, Coach. I also have a question for you to, as a staff, to see your team actually uh, respond well to the new system that you started playing with the faster pace that you did last year. So we're going to see them respond to that and flip the script to what we saw last game in the minute before we were chasing the ball. And now this time you had a very strong team in Monterey Bay chasing us and trying to create chances of winning. How was I finding that previous staff? Yes, we were, we were comfortable. We were, you know, you feel you feel that when you're on the side of the of the field, you're watching them. You look and they, they look good. They look more comfortable. And when we play the way we wanted to play, that is really you know encouraging. Uh, anyway, we we want to win, and the objective of this is winning. Winning is the most important. Uh, so right now we're not comfortable or we're not uh, relaxed. We want to win and we need to improve. We need to improve in that aspect and we know that. So hopefully with this performance, we can use it as a base and then continue moving forward in order for us to be more consistent team and, and, and more aggressive in order for us to find the net, uh, the, the opponent's net and trying to make sure that we we add three points instead of one. Thank you. Thank you.